Hi there guys, today we're going to be cutting a baby feeding bowl from some bamboo. This is a bit of an advanced job as it does require 3D carving and two-sided machining. So if you'd like to see how we made this design in Vectric VCarve Pro, then be sure to check out our video tutorial in the description. However, if you'd like to just get straight to cutting, then this file is available for free on our new website Make It Place, so be sure to check that out. So first, let's go over everything we're going to be using to cut this bowl. So, for this, we're going to be using two 6mm end mills, one that's at least 50mm long and one that's at least 40mm long. Then we've also got a 4mm ball nose cutter that's also at least 40mm long, and we've got a 60 degree V-bit, a 4mm uh, collet and a 6mm collet. Then we've also got a few screws and some dowels. And then we're all good! So the most important aspect of a two-sided job is the work holding. We need to make sure that it perfectly aligns when we flip it over. As you can see, we've got our larger spoil board, and then we've got a smaller piece of auxiliary spoil board, which we'll be drilling our dowel holes into. So first, let's align the stock with the auxiliary spoil board, which I already know is square. For this, we can use Smartbench's laser datum. Once it's square, we can drill some holes into the stock to hold it down. Then we need to go and get our spindle ready. For this, we'll be using the 50mm long 6mm end mill, so let's go ahead and insert that into our collet and spindle. Now we can place the spindle into the Z head and screw it in tight. Before we get going, we need to set our datums quickly. Our job datum is from the bottom left corner of the stock, so we're going to set that as our working XY datum. And after we've done that, we can just move our cutter down towards the stock and use the Pro plate to set our working Z datum. The first file we're going to be cutting are the dowel holes. So we can just load that file up from the console, run a quick check to make sure everything is in order, and then we can begin to cut. And now that our dowel holes are done, we can go and change our spindle and reset the new Z datum. So for the 3D roughing pass, we're going to be using the 40 mm long 6 mm end mill. And this job may take a while, so with the magic of editing, we can just jump to the finished result. And next is the 3D finishing pass, which will go over and add some nice smooth detail for the cut. So for this, we need the 4mm ball nose cutter, which we can go ahead and pop into our spindle. Then, once again, we just need to load up the job, check it, and press go. Before we get started on the bottom side, we need to do the last and quickest cut of the top side, which is the engraving toolpath of the mouth, for which we'll be using a 60 degree V-bit. So we can do a quick cut change and restart our datums, and then get going on the last toolpath. So once this is done, and we're happy with how the top of the bowl is looking, we can go ahead and move on to the bottom side. So first, let's unscrew the stock from the auxiliary spoil board. So we should now be able to see the dowel holes that went through the stock and into the auxiliary spoil board. So we can just grab our dowels and place them in each of the holes. So we need to place our dowels in each of the holes and then make sure we remember to flip our stock horizontally, not vertically, line it up with each of the dowels and place it down. This can be a little bit fiddly and in some cases a hammer might be your friend if the dowel is particularly tight on the hole. So once we've done this, we can get started on the bottom side. It's important to remember to not reset the XY datum at this point in the project as this will skew the alignment. As long as the dowels fit nice and tight, you should be absolutely fine. So let's get going on the 3D roughing path. So let's just change the cutter to our 6mm end mill, reset the Z datum, and now we can get going with the next cut. So now we can go straight on onto the finishing pass. We're going to save the pocket cut and the final profile for last, as although unlikely, doing the finishing pass after we've done the profile runs the risk of the bowl breaking out of the tabs and ruining the job. So let's go and change to our four millimeter ball nose, remembering to reset the Z datum also. Then we can get the job going. Mm -hmm. 
Once the finishing pass is done, we're almost finished. We just need to go back to our 6mm end mill, do a final profile cut to take the bowl out of the stock, and a quick pocket cut to give the bowl a nice flat base. So, as you're no doubt used to by now, we just need to change the cutter, reset the Z datum, and get the job going. This job is nice and quick, so when it's done, all we need to do is pop the bowl out of the stock. So let's go ahead and grab our multi-tool and use this to cut out the tabs. Then we should be able to lift the bowl out of the material. So as you can see, we've got some lovely nice smooth detail all over the top and base of the bowl here. And all we really need to do now is just a bit of light sanding and then rub some oil in to help protect the bamboo. Since this is going to be a feeding bowl, remember to use a food grade wood oil. And since the sanding and oiling is a quick and simple job, we can just cut to the finished product. So there you go guys, this is the finished bowl. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or requests for further video tutorials, then be sure to leave those down in the comments below. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you guys soon.